Hello everybody, welcome back, how have you been? Today I'm here to tell you a very nice story about three great musical instruments. The flute, Mr. Heku Heku, and Mr. Maraca. The story starts with Miss Flute. She was sad, crying all over the place. <laughs> I'm so sad. The sound that I make is awful. I don't like my sound. <laughs> she was so sad that she decided to go out in a forest to take a walk. But she was so distracted that she didn't even notice that she was about to get lost in the middle of the trees. When she noticed that she was really lost, she sat down by a very tall tree and started to cry again. <laughs> but up there in the tree, there was someone overhearing the crying. Who's crying? It's me! <laughs> Why are you crying? I'm crying because I hate the sound that I make. It's awful! So Mr. Maraca climbs down the tree. Hey, Miss Flute, don't need to cry. My friends make fun of my sound every time. They say I sound like a rattlesnake. Do you think my sound looks like the sound of a rattlesnake? I think it does a little bit. My friends used to say that my sound looks like the sound of a bird. Yeah, you do sound like a bird. Don't need to cry over this. The bird's sound is so beautiful. So Miss Flute started to feel a little bit better and Mr. Maraca kept going. Hey, I have a lot of other instruments all over this forest. Would you like to meet them? Of course! Come here, I'm gonna show you another friend of mine. In the middle of their way, they found another great instrument, Mr. Heku Heku. Hello, Mr. Heku Heku. Hello, Mr. Heku Heku. Hello, everybody. We were just talking about how our sounds look like animal sounds. I do sound like the rattlesnake, don't I? Yes, and I do sound like a bird, don't I? Yes, you sure do. What about my sound? I think my sound looks like the sound of a frog. Am I right? Yes, that's right! And then, while our three little friends were chatting, they saw a very scary scene. A big fierce bear passed by chasing a rabbit. Oh my god, did you see that? Did you see that? We need to save him! We need to save the rabbit! The bear hid the rabbit in a cave on the other side of the river to eat him later because he was not hungry at that moment. Meanwhile, Miss Flute kept crying. Ah, ah, we need to save Mr. Rabbit! We need to save Mr. Rabbit! Her sound was so beautiful that a bird who was flying by decided to stop. Hey, who's down there that sounds exactly like me? It's me, Miss Flute! What do you need, Miss Flute? Why are you crying? We need your help to get us to that bear! We need to save our friend, Mr. Rabbit! Of course, hop on my back, I'll take you to the river. So our three little friends hopped on the bird's back and got to the edge of the river. Hey, we are so close now, but we still need to get across the river. But we can't swim, how do we do it? And then Mr. Heku Heku had an idea. If Miss Flute could communicate with a bird because their sounds are so similar, what if I communicate with... The frog! The frog can swim? Maybe he can take us to the other side of the river! That's a great idea, Mr. Heku Heku! And then Mr. Heku Heku started to sing. In a quick bit, a beautiful frog came out of the river. Who's talking to me? You need my help? Yes, Mr. Frog, we need your help to take us to the other side of the river. We need to save our friend, Mr. Rabbit. Of course, hop on, I'll take you to the other side of the river. And then our three little friends hopped on the frog's back and got to the other side of the river. Hey, but we still have a problem. The bear is keeping the rabbit inside that cave and we can't dig how we are going to reach them down there. 
And Mr. Maraca had a great idea. I know! If Miss Flute could communicate with the bird because their sounds are similar, and Mr. Heku Heku communicated with a frog because they look alike, what if I communicate with a snake? They are good at digging things. Great idea, Mr. Maraca! And then Mr. Maraca started to sing. Fast enough, a little snake appeared from inside the ground. I hear somebody calling me. You need my help? Yes, Mr. Snake, we need your help to save our friend, the rabbit. He's being kept inside that cave. We need your help to dig a very deep hole in the ground. No problem. I love digging things. So Mr. Snake digs a very deep hole and our friends get to save the rabbit. After our friends came back to their houses in the forest, they never complain about their sounds anymore. I love my sound. I sound like a beautiful bird. I love my sound. I sound like a beautiful frog. And I love my sound. I sound like a beautiful snake. Our friends could sleep very tight that night, knowing that they lived a very beautiful adventure that day. That's it for today, people. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next week. Bye-bye, everybody.